strange woman in the forest. Just telling you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, I was not feeling very well yesterday. Uh, it might have had something to do with the uh, hot sauce I ate a couple of days ago. Uh, you saw me eating the noodles in the night. And I was tired and it was dark. And I may have put a little bit too much. I did start crying halfway the dinner. Uh, but I thought this was uh, because of the beauty uh, of the container I've created. <laughs> no, I was really not feeling well yesterday. Uh, my sister took some more uh, rubble down to the other land.
Since we've been getting a lot of comments about uh, standing water near the house, mosquitoes, the possibility for fish in the container, I have the idea that I didn't really explain very well what is a grey water wetland or what is going to be our grey water wetland. Because um, I don't see a mosquito problem, <laughs> and although it does have standing water. Uh, let me get the, the drawing that Duart made so I can explain to you again how this system works. So, this is our container. Uh, dirty water will come in on this side. Here are three barriers. The barriers are here to make sure that the water travels the longest distance to the exit and thereby touching most of the roots from reeds and stuff that we're going to put in. So the water gets the most time to get clean. So here it will travel over the first barrier, then it will travel under the second barrier and then it will travel over the third barrier and then go to the exit. These barriers need to be a little longer, uh, maybe twice the size on this drawing about uh, 25 percent i'm gonna leave open here on the top here on the bottom and here on the top this whole container will be filled with rocks and gravel so we're gonna have here a layer of rocks and the top layer is gonna be gravel and then in the gravel we'll put the reeds and their roots will grow through the rocks and they will be cleaning the water the water level will not be to the top the water level will maybe five centimeters under the top and the last five centimeters is gravel, fine gravel. So in my opinion, mosquitoes cannot get in there to put their eggs in the water. Also there will not be much smell from this standing water here because it's covered. Maybe it's a little bit more clear now. So unless you think that mosquitoes can go through gravel to lay their eggs, I don't see the problem. Uh, it's near to the house because we also want to create a pond where the water eventually is going. A separate pond from this. There we may have to see if we can put fish in it or frogs or something to take care of the mosquitoes. But this part, this container, this container is not going to have standing surface water. Any more questions? And Diana uh, went already uh, looking for uh, rocks to put stones to put in uh, the bottom part of the container. Uh, also on the other end.
Are you missing the frogs? Oh. Come in, come in, yeah. Come on, girls. We are now on our way to the south of Portugal to visit another YouTube channel. Uh, you're gonna see that in the next video. On to the Algarve! Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal Project.